uh, reparations is basically having the world accept uh, that slavery, the transatlantic slave trade, uh, the plantation economies that were based on slavery was wrong. And that we need to ensure that that is acknowledged and that collective measures is taken to treat with all of these significant negative legacies that has arisen as a result of that. I think fundamentally we have to be able to accept that uh, slavery was a crime against humanity. Uh, it was a criminal act. Uh, we need to have justice for that. And justice takes uh, a number of forms. Uh, material uh, redevelopment of the Caribbean uh, of Africa is just part and parcel of that. But on a more fundamental level, it's a recognition that the black races, uh, that Africans, that descendants of Africans, uh, are not less than other races. In my mind, the UK wants to uh, continue being a country that demonstrates that it upholds the values of justice, fairness, democracy, equal treatment of human beings, then to me it should be out front in apologizing for slavery. And uh, reluctance or refusal to do so then sends the opposite message. Um, I think that is critical to ensuring that going forward we continue to have uh, close working relationships and that there's a genuine sense that the colonies are the former colonies and the people who live there are viewed as equals uh, to the, the former country that colonized us. There's no doubt in my mind uh, that the future success of the UK is actually built on it remaining a multi-plural open society. And in order for that to continue, you also have to recognize that the immigrants, uh, the persons who are not traditionally uh, white, um, are critical towards the continued success of the UK. I think the fact that Rishi Sunak is the Prime Minister of the UK speaks for itself. Uh, it tells you how the history of the United Kingdom and perhaps its future is so intertwined to its past in terms of its colonial history, the plurality of British society. All of that comes from the fact that uh, it once colonized India, uh, parts of you know the Caribbean. We have these cultural wars which are taking place. We have these attempts to sometimes rewrite history if it's if it's not pleasant uh, or if it makes us feel uncomfortable. And we have to remind people. And that's why I say there's a danger in in not accepting. And uh, we deserve, uh, frankly, the same rights as everybody else who's been subjugated or treated badly by another group. <laughs>